Okay, y'all, I'm doing much better. All right, um, I had to actually switch memory cards because um, for some reason that memory card stopped working. And I honestly need to make sure that it's able to be read on um, excuse me. I need to make sure that it's able to be read on the computer. The devil is a liar. Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you restore this memory card in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, Lord, restore this memory card in Jesus' name. Because I not only have stuff on here that... Hold on. So... Um... Vlogtober? Vlog 6 was on this vlog. Well, was on this memory card. And I had a lot of other stuff, like... I had a lot of other stuff on this that I did not delete for special purposes. I had footage from last night on there. I, went, I had some good skate footage for y'all. I went to the skating rink last night. Um, but what I was talking about today, um, cause my it's been fine all day. But after I got out that bathroom and I was exposing the enemy. Now that I've exposed the enemy, now all of a sudden my memory card is not working. After I exposed them about spiritual warfare, I exposed the enemy on spiritual warfare and how I was attacked in my sleep. Um, by sleep paralysis and I was exposing the enemy and saying like the enemy during sleep paralysis like the enemy wants you to think that it's real like you are going through it in the spirit but it's warfare and by the name of Jesus the enemy is defeated every time I told the enemy the enemy had my hand behind my back while I was in spiritual warfare while I was going through sleep paralysis some people think it's a natural but it it's the supernatural one and it's not just your body trying to wake up or your mind trying to wake up before your body or your body trying to wake up before your mind it's not just that it's spiritual warfare and the people who get it get it okay and i'm going to reset it now now because i see how the enemy is trying to play basically when I was sleeping on my couch, I was going through stuff about this morning. I was not having a good morning because of this bed that has came up in here. And I tried to speak to people, somebody about it, and it didn't go well. They blew it out of proportion. So it just caused my morning to be, you know, ill. So I went to sleep. I didn't go to sleep like because of that. I went to sleep because I uh, it was you know I wanted to take, take a nap. Um, that's also could be the work of the enemy laziness. Like, but I would just got done cooking breakfast and I didn't really do anything. But now I want to go to sleep. And you know another thing I was editing his vlog. Sleepy. That's a, that's a spirit of slumber. But anyways, so while I was asleep, um, I was sleep on this side of the couch actually. And I started having sleep paralysis. Now, I know when I'm having sleep paralysis. And when you're in sleep paralysis, your spirit is really trying to get about your body. Your spirit is really trying to like, girl, get me out of here. Your Basically, it ha it's happening in the spirit. So, it is happening for real. But this is what the enemy tried to do. He, he put my hand behind my back. And when you, what I was saying was, in the spirit, when you have a sleep paralysis, you really think this, this is happening. Like, you really think you are... 
I got on the floor in the spirit, right? I got on the floor to try to wake myself up. When you have a sleep paralysis, you're always trying to wake yourself up. Sometimes you can calm down. Like, sometimes I've calmed down and I would, I would just be calm in, in the name of Jesus. But sometimes you fight. Sometimes you panic. Now, I don't have sleep paralysis all the time because you only have sleep paralysis when you go into spiritual warfare. And those are the demons around you that you got to fight because somehow they have gotten access to your surroundings. Somehow, some way, now they are around you or it is around you. Some way, somehow. If you are having, uh, if you are having sleep paralysis, some way, somehow, you have a lot of demon to you have opened some door. Something is open that needs to be shut. So, and the people who get it, get it. Everybody don't go this deep, and that's something that you gotta work on. I mean, that's something that like don't be don't be fool don't be foolish. And don't be left not knowing. Okay, but anyways. So this is what happened. I was having, and, and this is what what I was saying when I was, I just got done talking about this on this memory card. And all of a sudden now this memory card's not working. I literally left y'all at home, put my camera down, put my battery on the charger. And I picked up my camera, turned my camera on. I started recording and then I look up at the memory thingy. I mean, I look up at the camera and it says this memory card is unusable. You got to reformat it or something. And I said, reformat? I know what that means. That means erase. That means delete everything. No. So I found another memory card. And I started deleting other stuff off here. Now I got six hours to record. So let's talk about it. In the spirit, I had got down on the floor trying to get up out, trying to wake up. I was right here. I was in this living room. Somehow... The, the enemy has had my in this spiritual warfare. Now, I've never been attacked to where I felt like my hand was behind my back. Now, the reason why he had my hand behind my back, I don't know. And it was my right hand, too. Now, this is my dominant hand. This the hand I go anointing stuff with. Had my right hand behind my back. I'm talking about strong behind my back too. And so, and for for some reason, the enemy wanted me to see myself in spiritual warfare, in struggle, in trying, like with my hand behind my back. It's so weird because in the spirit, the enemy put a mirror up right here to where I was able to, I was on the floor trying to wake up and I, looked up and I seen myself in the mirror. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was look I was really looking behind me to see if there was something on top of me. Nothing was there, but I could see my back. And it was like two bones were sticking up out my back. And when I said in the name of Jesus, get off of me. In the name of Jesus, get off me. The second time I said it, it got off me. And it was kind of like, then I came back to the couch. Yeah, definitely making it my um my duty to talk about it now. Definitely making my duty to talk about it. Because you really, really. But basically, the enemy is always going to fail. The enemy has already been defeated, y'all. Don't be afraid to plead the blood of Jesus. Because the enemy will flee every time. Yeah. Um, well, depending on if we can get any of this data back, uh, I might just be starting a brand new vlog off. All right, so if I want to recover these files, I basically need to go to a professional instead of trying to do it on my computer. I know they're there. I know they are going to be recoverable, but um, yeah, we're going to just start a new vlog. So I'll start this off tomorrow um, with a brand new start. 
Hello vlog. Welcome back to another video. My name is Rihanna. If you are new here, <sighs> hi. Hi everyone. It's a little weird. Um, to be honest, I know I was being really consistent. Um, I had a video that I wanted to put out or that I fully edited, but I'm just uneasy about putting out the vlog. God told me not to put it out, but I kind of, I kind of like cut some stuff out of it and then continued to edit and was like, okay, maybe this is a bit better, but I'm just not going to put the vlog out um, at all. Uh, yesterday was like the first day that I actually brought bad energy into this. Ooh, I felt like there was bad, it was definitely bad energy. Um running loose in here a uh, little spirit something something then came up in here and was running loose up in here um and tried to latch on to your girl here so i was battling a little bit of spiritual warfare yesterday and that's that wasn't the first time that i battled spiritual warfare in here but um I don't know yesterday was a bit weird okay and it was to the point where i actually you know, addressed it, um, exposed the enemy, and then the enemy got mad. And all of a sudden now, my memory card, my lovely memory card that had so much, this had blog, um, this had blogtober, Five, October six, five, six, and seven <laughs> on here. And um, at one point in the video, I was exposing the enemy about, uh, I was really exposing him in a major way. And I was talking, like I told y'all earlier, I don't know if I'm gonna put that part in there from what I spoke on the couch yesterday, but I was just thinking I was gonna start off this vlog fresh and new and let y'all know what's been going on with me. And I really, um, the enemy will really try to attack and say, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at vlog four, right? So I already feel like I'm behind at this point. Even though I told y'all I'm gonna do 12 vlogs, which is I am still going to get 12 vlogs, but it's like come a lot of stuff be on my mind. And today was like one of those quiet days where I was in my head all day, pretty much. I mean, I got my worship in this morning and while I was at work, but the enemy really tried me yesterday and I had to expose him and he corrupted my SD card, but I'm gonna try to get that for the, I'm gonna try to get this recovered because it's not deleted, it's literally corrupted. I was recording, everything was fine yesterday. I came back, um, I went out, came back home and started, picked up the camera to record. I'm recording, I'm thinking I'm recording. I look at the camera and it says that it has an arrow on the screen basically saying that the, the card can't be read. So I take the card out, I said, hmm, that's funny. Put the card on my computer, same message. It can't be read. So I had a lot of good footage. I even went to the skating rink. I actually gave y'all more content and me actually skating. I never show me skating anymore, but I actually gave a lot of content. But another way that I exposed the enemy was because I had basically went through sleep paralysis and the enemy was trying to show me that my hand was tied behind my back, but really the enemy is always defeated in the name of Jesus. And then I was talking about how, um, the enemy will only, he won't attack his own kingdom. He will only attack what is a threat. I'm a big threat because I'm a big warrior, okay? So I was talking about how, I was like, I've been praying. I was like, of course the enemy's trying to come from my head because I've been praying and I've been interceding on, a, on other people's behalf. I haven't just been praying for myself. I've been interceding. Now that's one thing to pray. It's one thing to pray for somebody, but to intercede on somebody else's behalf is a whole nother bull game. And I've been interceding because I'm like, no, they don't just need prayer. Somebody need to somebody need to go in on their behalf in the name of Jesus. And that's what I've been doing in enemy's map. <laughs> so he tried to delete, but 
I just found another memory card and I deleted. I was like, I deleted all this footage and I was like, wow, I really thought this this card was like full because sometimes I do like, and even on here, I had a whole bunch of footage that I did not delete specifically because I like to keep some memories of most of the time it's my family, like my little cousins, my little brothers, my little sister, my nieces and my nephews. I like to keep footage of my mama and stuff like that and my dad i like to keep that footage like i won't delete anything with them on it unless it's just unnecessary but most of the time i won't delete anything with them on it so yeah all that stuff is just stuck and corrupt right now but we're gonna try to recover it back and maybe i'll put that out in a later date i don't know but i had another memory card and the memory card just had a whole bunch of vlog footage on there that i never deleted i always delete my vlog footage on there because i'm just like there's no need once i've edited the vlog and put it out i'll just delete the footage especially if it's meaningless it's just a vlog so it was a whole bunch of vlog footage probably like two or three vlogs on there that i just did not delete the footage so i ended up getting about six and a half hours out of that so yeah guys it is vlogtober day five and we are starting at night so right now let's get back to it all right guys dang dang i had to get you know i had to get a little serious i mean i want that serious but i had to get a little serious serious serious, <coughs> serious tonight y'all know we in the kitchen I had to get something fast because I just got off work and haven't eaten anything all day except for two pieces of Nutella bread. I just don't be having time to, I don't be having time to, um, I don't be having time to leave work because I be having clients come in. Um, it's not like I, I'm not necessarily always jam packed with clients, but they do be coming, coming through. So we basically just got us some popcorn shrimp, pretty much. This is what the shrimp looks like. It's already in the bag. I got it from Food Lion. This is the box. It's boomerang shrimp, but I'm guessing it's like bang bang shrimp. I'm actually gonna get this thing out of here because I have not just readjusted it to where it looks proper anymore. So I'm gonna get that out of here. And I'm also gonna get those flowers out of here. Those dead flowers, they're dead at this point. They gotta go. Anything dead, I'm just, I'm not keeping no more dead stuff around me. It's a lot of things that's about to change, y'all. I ain't gonna speak on too much. But let me tell you, if you got any ill will towards me or anything like that, you can exit off this channel because I'm going to tell you your energy is wasted because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And to everybody that support me, stop being quiet and leave a comment down in the daggone. Down in the, in the comments. Because you be real quiet. <laughs> I want to just like take them out right now and toss them over the balcony. But anyway, so since y'all don't know what's going on, since y'all have no idea of what's going on because God told me not to put out the last vlog, the original Vlogtober day five. Um, I'm not putting it out. I haven't fully edited, but I'm going to go ahead and read some content. Why? Because the Lord don't want me to put it out so i got a bed the bed i'm gonna be straightforward with you i don't like it i don't care i don't like it i am grateful for the bed i am grateful for the bed but i do not like the bed i do not like the bed it was gifted to me so i'm grateful for the bed will i be keeping the bed for the long run no say what you want no but since we have the bed and you know, and there's no telling what I'm gonna be doing next year when I move out of here. So, since we have the bed and we're most likely, I don't know if I'm gonna buy a new bed. I don't think I'll buy a new bed right now, but since we have the bed, we're doing a DIY project. 
that I'm really excited for. So the DIY project is gonna consist of me painting the bed. Why am I painting the bed? Because I hate the color. I do not like the color. My mother lied to me. She said it was a black bed and it's dark brown. She says that bed is black. I said, you playing in my face. You told me the bed was black. I settled for it. I never wanted a wooden bed. I skipped past all wooden beds. It has to look particular if it's gonna be wooden. But the wooden is given, it's given my mama. It's giving my mama a bit. I digress. Sorry, I just had to bring a little bit of energy because I was a little, <laughs> and I don't like feeling like that in my apartment. And I just felt like yesterday, I was really feeling like this was not a safe space. And it wasn't because the enemy was trying to creep up in here. And I had to go to war. I had to go to war. So that being said, the bed, we DIYing it. First thing we doing, painting it. What color we painting, you ask? You wanna know? Cause I got the paint right there. Should I show y'all, should I wait? I'm waiting. Cause we're doing a freaking series. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I I'm about to pop these things in the oven. It is on 420. We're not waiting 30 more degrees. Get those things in the oven. Hungry. So, painting the bed. And then we have some things where we're creating a new headboard. So the headboard is gonna go on top of the headboard that is already there, but it's gonna be something that I actually want. So I don't know if I'm gonna completely paint the whole entire bed. I might just paint like the side pieces and the parts that you're, actually, you're absolutely gonna see. Or something that might be like in the cracks. You know, that I cannot, that I, the, that I can't cover. But yeah, so we got a new bed. And another reason <clears throat> why I don't like the bed is because like I was sleeping on the floor for a very long time, right? Not on the floor. I was sleeping on a mattress and I love, I love my mattress. Like I told y'all when I sleep, I get good night sleep. Like when I was just sleeping on the mattress, like, sleeping like a baby. I was getting amazing sleep. I'm talking boom, boom, boom. Every night, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting good sleep, getting good sleep. I'm hype right now, I don't know why. Maybe because I've been quiet all day. And I was just like, when I was, when I was, I was thinking like, oh my God, I don't want to come back to my house and it feel like, like that again. Like, I didn't like feeling like yesterday. Yes, it, Yesterday was not good. Yesterday, I, I didn't like the feeling up in here and I don't invite those type of spirits and I don't invite that type of energy. So you gotta protect your peace, for real and what by any means mother love necessary. So if you gotta remove people and you gotta distance yourself, do so by any means necessary every freaking time. I'm talking about every time. If your peace is interrupted, you got to withdraw and evaluate. And then you move forward. And however that looks, it's how it looks. So, what was I saying? Oh, but another reason why I don't like the bed. Um, because I was sleeping, so I was on the floor, on the mattress on the floor for so long. It just felt, my room just felt so big. It is big. It's a big room. My room just felt so big and so elevated and so everything. So now that I got this bed, I just feel like I'm so freaking close to the ceiling. Now, when I had my um, and then I don't even have the 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 uh, the that going um, the what's to call it the the box spring. They ain't even give me the box spring, so I ain't even come with a box spring. So I had to order the box spring, and so that means I'm gonna get higher. I'm, uh, so when I had my old, my old squeaky bed, you know, the rails, I just was dreading bringing that one here because, ah, eh, all that squeaking and geeking was not about to go down. But I used to get good sleep on that bed too, even though, like, I would ignore the squeak and geek, okay? But that bed was low. That was almost, it was a canopy bed, but it was 
lower to the ground. This bed is not. It's a high bed. And my mom was like, it's hot. Oh, it's a high bed too. She, I don't know. Me and my mom are two different people. Me and my mom are two different people. We have two totally different tastes. Like, we're like this. Two totally different people with two totally different tastes. So she loved the bed. And so she talked me into accepting the bed because at first I was like, uh-uh, I don't want that bed. It's big, it's bigger, it's big wooden and brown. I don't want no big wooden bed. She told me to get in the bed because it was black. I was like, okay, that's a little chic. I can do black. At least it's black. It's not black, it's dark brown. So now we gotta paint the bed. And so now we gotta do a whole DIY project on the bed. But I love that because that's what we're gonna be doing for this channel. We already doing home decor, so I'm about to redo this room. Like when I'm done with the room, the bed is just a start. But the and then it came with nightstands, which is good. So we doing the nightstands too. The nightstands is really brown. And they browner than a mug. I don't know. We're just gonna do a lot in this room now. We're moving to the room because the living room is just gonna have to bring itself together as time goes on. But I honestly cannot focus on too much of you know trying too hard to get too much be when we not even about to be in this. I move out next August. August is about to get here real quick. I know it's months and months and months away. I'm gonna be here for a long time, but I'm just saying. Once we get up out of here, it's going to be a lot to move out. Yeah, so the bed is just about to get higher. And it just makes, it takes up a lot of space in the room. Like it has this big wide footboard. Uh, I'm just not used to stuff like that. I'm used to space and I know what I want. And um, this bed is just not what I want. But I'm grateful for the bed. I'm grateful that I have a bed, even though I was fine on the floor until I would have gotten what I wanted. But I'm grateful for the bed. Uh, at first, I was not grateful at all. Uh, I was trying to be grateful. I was trying, but I was like, this is just not what this. I feel bamboozled. I felt bamboozled. I really did. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm tired of talking about problems. We only going to talk about solutions, right? That's right. So we got to DIY the bed. Well, the other day I told you it was just a bad day and I just the, the when this bed got here it was like the energy changed in here so you know I don't know what I'm very spiritual and I'm not spiritual in a in a way that I'm like oh I need to align my chakras no ma'am I don't participate in things of that sort I don't participate in clearing the mind with yoga activities i don't participate in that i am a child of god and i don't practice rituals and i don't practice other religions i am a follower of my lord and savior jesus christ okay so what i was trying to say is i'm very spiritual so i'm not trying to say that the, like the man who had to be was um uh, evil or had something going on around him but you know i don't know what was going on i don't know what kind of emotional state he was in but i had to anoint the bed and the lord told me to anoint the bed because the lord did reveal to me that there was something up in her that was trying to sit up in here and make had me feeling like this was not my safe space anymore i talked to y'all about this yesterday like i was like dang because because basically me and my mom got into it on the phone and that was the first time in here like i don't I, I try to set my boundaries and i don't i don't do all that back and forth and arguing and stuff no more because i have set my boundaries and i communicate to my mama that stuff like that triggers me it's a trigger for me so we don't do that no more we've been doing real good we haven't done that in a long time so the fact that she got triggered and then she started talking to me crazy and i got triggered but then something, something up in here started feeding off of them triggers. And then, and then decided to attack me. The attack happened after my, after I got angry. After I let that, I, after, after all of that, that's when the attacks started. Because it was just already up in here. So it saw an open door. And the Lord revealed to me afterwards that I had to come in here and read the 91st Psalm. 
and anoint the bed. So now I feel a lot better with the bed. Anyways, I'm about to cook my tacos, y'all. Um, uh oh, I done got the thing going. I ain't even got no shrimp seasoned or nothing. I'm about to cook my tacos, so I'll be back later, and then we're gonna finish out this vlog tomorrow. Welcome. Do I look cute today? I do. Y'all, bamboo's gone in the trash. Not bamboo. It's not even a bamboo, anything. But it's gone in the trash. I'm on my way to my new old job, pretty much. <laughs> Girl, I, oh yeah, so I picked up a second job. Because honey, rent is gold. I'm gonna talk about something that I, um, once I gain the knowledge, I really have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that knowledge for myself. Um, glasses or no glasses but anyways let's roll but so like um yeah no i don't i'm a christian um i don't celebrate halloween i don't participate in any kind of demonic anything i don't participate in demonic movies i don't participate in inviting demonic energy i don't participate in listening to demonic music whether you believe it's demonic or not, I just don't participate in it because there's so much information out here and people choose to ignore it nowadays. And it's like, it's in your face. But I mean, if you're gonna ignore it, that's just what you choose. That's the life that, you, I mean, it's not even the life that you choose, but that's the path you chose. You go, nowadays you have to pick a side. So um, this year I was like, you know, I went to the pumpkin patch. So basically, um, I saw a video last night and it's not like oh you believe everything you see but no these people be coming out and speaking on stuff that we participate in that we have no recollect that we don't even know why we participate in it and this world is so wicked they will try you know they get this in us when we are young so we think it's it's harmless because we've been doing it since we were young, right? So y'all know how I went to the pumpkin patch or whatever. And I got the pumpkins. But this year I was saying to myself, I was like, I don't wanna carve I don't wanna I don't wanna carve anything in a pumpkin. I just wanna have the pumpkins. Like I don't wanna carve no pumpkin. I don't wanna make no jack o' lantern. I was like, I don't want no jack o' lantern up in here because first of all, when people carve the pumpkins, it just looks it just looks it, it looks like it's supposed to be demonic and scary and basically um this ex witch came on and she was talking about and and i do be believing because they do practice witchcraft and they are working in the demonic realm so if somebody had was practicing all of this and came to christianity i'm gonna take heed to what they talk about because now they exposing the enemy because they used to be in it. They first, they was first hand in it. And so she was basically talking about what the jack o' lanterns really mean. She was like carving, basically carving the pumpkins. And um, she was like, having the pumpkins is, the pumpkins is basically like an offering. Um, like an offering to demons on, on Halloween, pretty much. So I said, oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. I'm getting them pumpkins out of my house today. And I was already going to get the big orange pumpkin out in the first place because the big orange pumpkin has already, it started to mold at the stem. Like it has white mold on it. So I was already like, that one got to go. The white one, why are you in my face? the white one kind of molded a little bit too but i was like I, 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 all right now come on you gonna get up and get the freak back you see my signal on you moving slow now people be bullying people in this lane right here which one you gonna go in oh okay but anyways yeah i just thought that was uh interesting so yeah it is what it is like 
I'm not about to um, turn a blind eye because I'm very much a believer and a follower of Christ and I I war okay I go to war the enemy don't like me the enemy don't like me and I don't like the enemy and y'all can say some people on here even some Christians will say you know or some people who just don't want to believe or some people who do believe but just choose what they want to believe in like pick and choose you can't pick and choose you got to pick and choose a side you can't be lukewarm out here God gonna spit you out I don't want this lukewarm behind food they race into the red light anyways y'all I don't know if they still need to get over. Is this blinker false or is this real? That's an old school bus. Do they need to get over for real? I don't think they do. I think she just don't even know her blinker on. Come on, school bus. You got to do better than that. Y'all, so guess what I got? I got a new drink at Starbucks. I don't really drink Starbucks like that, especially like coffee. I don't really need nothing to get me up in the morning. Um, them Celsius I, did, I was drinking but I heard a little story about them Celsius and y'all remember how I used to be acting up off them Celsius and now they was talking about they had stuff in them Celsius drugs amphetamine in the cells I said what but then some people said it was true some people said it wasn't they was testing the they were doing a drug test on the celsius they was like you can't drug test a celsius like somebody would have to drink it and then test it i don't know but i had stopped drinking them before because it was just making me feel weird um if i drink a whole celsius i had to kick it down to half because um yeah it was just making me feel weird uh, i get me a matcha tea latte with coconut milk because yesterday i forgot to tell them coconut milk so of course they're gonna put whole milk in it honey i was i was pooping up a storm at work not gonna lie and it was stinky and my boots don't stink yesterday i was pooping and it was stinking and i wasn't realizing that i was pooping oh my bad let me not inch up because you right here mr man okay um four pumps of pumpkin, pumpkin spice so this is my new drink that i get from starbucks that i've been getting lately and it's actually really tasty why homeless people gotta be homeless why can't it be a way a place for them to go i think i don't know to get into girl you have a whole stop sign baby you gotta pay attention because i'm blowing through mine i don't got no stop sign yeah let's park this away because i know bro not me always talking about a honey i don't even work at a vietnamese um nail salon i'm just like ever since i became a nail tech <laughs> you know i grew up in the vietnamese nail salon so honey anyways let's freshen up our lip i'm so mad that um i should go back to starbucks like excuse me can i get a refill because i literally just drunk this it has so much ice in it i be i hate when i have to critique my order after i get it and it's like, dang, I wish I would have known to say that. Like, light ice, light on the ice. Y'all, today, I feel like a lot of people today are attached to, like, Gen Z especially. But I feel like a lot of people are attached. This is a different type of vlog. Because I'm not just being big funny. I'm actually talking to y'all for real. But I feel like a lot of people are attached um, 
to their significant other and not in a healthy way. Have you been seeing that or has it just been me? Am I like the single girl like my god trying to like judge how attached somebody is to their significant other with, with when I'm single and people just think I'm I'm jealous cuz I want to be in a relationship um I love to be I would love to be in a relationship and have like a significant other but I don't want to be attached to nobody to where I feel like like I want my significant other to be their own person and to do things without me because I don't want to do things with you all the time like all the time yeah I do want to do things with you all the time but not all the time you get me you, am I making sense I see a lot of people guarding their man am I making sense you did not even have to walk. It be the men's out here for me flexing in the daggone in the fall. They putting that ish on and they said somebody gonna see this because you parked behind me, love. Why did you walk in front of my car when you could have maybe he's going in that entrance. Maybe he maybe we'll smart enough to go this way. Maybe I'm over exaggerating. Maybe let me know in the comments if I'm over exaggerating. I just feel like a lot of a lot of girls nowadays when they're out with their man they're like guard guard this man or just like i never seen so many i mean i don't know maybe maybe because i'm single i don't get it i don't get it i just i know it's not me i just feel like it's been a it's it's more of an attachment now than a relationship do y'all see that or is it just me i know it's not me because somebody else had said the same thing and i was like i've been seeing that like, when I go out to the store, it's crazy how they be guarding their man. And that's like, let your man be free. Like, let your man make his own decisions. If he, want, if he want to look at somebody else, then you know where to go. But just because we out in the store, there's females out in the store that's just as pretty as you. Now you got to guard your man. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. I don't want to ever feel like that. Like, I got to guard my man. Because there's a beautiful girl out in the store that could possibly take him. Because if he my man, you can't take him. Can't nobody take him. Because my man, gonna, first of all, is a God-ordained. So that's a whole different type. If the man want to leave his God-ordained relationship to go for the streets, that ain't causing me no type of lack. Because I know who I am, baby. But I don't know. I just just seen an attachment issue and i just pray to god that whatever if because i have not been in a relationship in a long time so i just pray to god that that is not me i don't want that for me all right let's go in this mall i don't want to take y'all in there because i just don't feel like having people look at me today look at me vlog and like what's what you doing it's like people already probably looking at me talking to y'all. It's been mad people all up in my car looking at me talking to y'all. It's like, mind your business. Let me take my windows, fishbowl. Y'all, my apartment smells like onions. And it's all because I chopped up some onions last night. And I put the ones that I did not, the ones that I chopped badly. My camera focus has been weird all day. What the heck? Is it not on vlog mode? It hasn't even been on vlog mode all day. That's why my camera has been out of focus. And I've just been looking at it like, why does it keep blurring up? <sighs> so, I got these two jackets from Fashion Nova. But guess what? Fashion Nova's going back. I don't even know why I ordered these stupid things. Because I thought it was going to be colder than it is. And to be honest, they're two fur coats. And I'm like, girl, it's going to be 70 degrees. 70 degrees is just chilly it's gonna be seven degrees and cloudy so it's gonna be a little chilly but and it possibly might be raining too and i'm just like girl you did not need it so i'm about to go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and return and we also did find some rings in the store so i'm gonna be putting all of these rings on i mean on friday and we also got some lashes 
These are the types of lashes that I like to get. So this is the brand that I get. I need to go on TikTok shop, TikTok shop and get the lashes that like the girls be having where it has the variety of lashes. But I got the, um, they're both not free. And these are the, these are two volume, but these give you multi-layer effect. So these, you can see this is kind of like wispy. And then these are, and these are, these are medium too. Yeah, these are medium. And then these are three volume and this is medium. So they're the same length. I did want to get short, but I was like, my eyelashes are pretty long. So I'm going to be putting my lashes on today. And then... I'm also going to be putting on my best friend's lashes because she is a bridesmaid in the wedding. Um, I'm going to put it on her lashes and then we got us some more edge control. I'm not sure how well this is going to hold my edges, but hopefully it holds it pretty good. But anyway, so y'all know what I was talking about earlier. We're about to go ahead and... Just get stuff out the house. These pumpkins, we're gonna go ahead and toss them. So let's go ahead and just pack up the pumpkins and then my dead plant over there. We just go ahead and get everything that's that's not bringing. Y'all, when I say good energy, I just mean energy because it's spiritual energy. I'm not talking about, I don't say, uh, I have to different. I have to differentiate what I be saying, cause I don't sage. I don't manifest anything. Things may manifest, but I am not manifesting it. If you know what I mean. I don't meditate, but I do meditate on the word. But I don't meditate to clear my mind or to bring good energy. I don't do no sage. I don't do anything. So anything that is not aligning with God and that has other symbolic things that I don't know about, but I am now aware of, we just have to remove it, including dead plants. I don't even know why I had that dead plant up in here. I mean, it, was, it wasn't even given. It wasn't even given no more. It, it gave for like a week and then I moved it and then it ungave itself. So it was given when it was alive though. That's a whole nother story how I killed that plant. But anything symbolic that I bought in the spirit of thinking is fall, I wasn't buying. Now, the girl in the video, she did put, she did say like carving the pumpkins. But then she just kept saying pumpkins, like the pumpkins. I said, I got pumpkins. And I specifically told my cousin, and I was like, and this is before I knew about any of it. And I was like, she was like, are you gonna carve the pumpkin? I was like, no. I was like, I don't wanna carve the pumpkins. Like, I don't wanna do anything of celebration or participation of Halloween. Like, carving pumpkins is a part of Halloween. And I feel like the pumpkins, to me, was a part of fall. But carving the pumpkins and making jack-o'-lanterns, even if I made a cute smiley face, I feel like it's still a part of participating in Halloween activities. Now and then they she was even talking about down to like the pumpkin spice like the smell of pumpkin spice and I've been like girl I need that pumpkin spice because you know it's fall and I'm like pumpkin spice pumpkin spice give me some pumpkin spice and God has not let me buy a pumpkin because I have not even bought a pumpkin spice candle yet 
but he allowed me to create that content. Now that content was fun. Now, I don't think, no, I'm just, this is just me personally. I'm not inviting anything that could possibly be demonic up in this house. I take it that serious. Listen, I'm choosing signs. I'm choosing signs and I'm choosing the real word. So anything that could possibly be demonic, and yes, I said demonic. And everybody, everything's not demonic. A lot of stuff is more stuff in this world. This world is wicked. We are living in a demonic world. Okay? God may created it, but the dev the devils that came down here, them ne them nef them Nephilims or Nephilim, something. Them dem the angels that fell from heaven, now they're demons and they run around on here. They don't care. They don't care about you being a Christian. But one thing you do got. If you believe in the Lord Jesus and you don't participate, you don't open them doors, you got the blood of Jesus coming. And that's me. Mm-mm. Because -mm. I won't unknowingly or knowingly open up a door. As soon as I get hit, as soon as I get put on, I'm not going to ignore it. Because now I'm being disobedient to the knowledge that I have. And I'm choosing. I'm choosing my flesh. Now, goodbye to the bumpkins. Every stinking year I learned something different. Y'all can say what you want. But this one is here right here. And, and you go back and talk to God about it. Don't take my word for it. Go back and talk to God about it for real, for real. And talk to him about it for real, for real. And ask for the Holy Spirit before you go talk to God. Because the Holy Spirit going to let you know for real. It ain't gonna be you talking. It ain't gonna be you talking. So we got this this plant there. It was cute. It was it was cute for a little while, but let's go ahead and get rid of this dead stuff. Now that may now that right there may sound a little superstitious. We don't keep dead things around us. That may sound a little superstitious, but I'm just not. I done broke it all the way. I can't break it no more. I'm about to put y'all on. So, if you... Everybody washes their clothes, right? I use this. Um, now, I did have another laundry detergent that I was using. And I got it from... Yeah, let's just put that on there. Let's do this. Start. Oh, no. It's about a medium. Turn the temperature to cold. So, I use... I've always used this. I don't really use like Tide and stuff like that. But um, I recently switched to the um, laundry detergent that you get from, I get it from um, Lidl. So if you have a Lidl, go into the Lidl and get the Lidl laundry detergent. Now it's gonna be the natural laundry detergent. I know some people like the smell. It does not have a smell. Um, but I can tell the difference. I got this from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I didn't get it from Dollar Tree. I didn't get it from Dollar General either. I got it from Family Dollar. We know these are three different things, okay? And they, now they're trying to merge the Family Dollars and the Dollar Trees. I don't like that. But anyways, I got this one. But I regret going back to this. I said I'm going to use it until it's up. And then I'm going back to the Lido natural laundry detergent. Now they do have like the natural laundry detergent that you can get, but Lido, it's only I think like seven dollars for one this big. And I think this one may have been like it's probably like the same price, but I know the one in Lido is a little bit cheaper than this one. But highly recommend that you use the natural one. And if you have if you have an Aldi's near you, they might have like an Aldi's one that's probably the same. I feel like Lidl and Aldi's is like sisters and brothers, but they have a Lidl laundry detergent. The natural one, you'll see it. Um, the liquid, it does not, we're not even supposed to be using like blue liquid. Um, but I feel like some people think because it has, a, I'm about to, I was about to say head and shoulders, but because it has like baking soda and OxyClean, it's supposed to clean your clothes really good or Tide. We all know Tide is not good. Tide just smell good. But the Lidl, 
it will have your clothes clean and it will have your clothes so soft i'm talking about all of your clothes like i'm real big on texture so when i went back to this and i just grabbed my clothes out the out the dryer i could feel the difference and like everything was kind of stiff was kind of just like itchy and scratchy like and when i first did the lido laundry detergent everything was so soft i'm like oh my god my clothes are so soft i don't even have no fabric softener nothing i never used fabric softener fabric softener um so it was just the lido laundry detergent I would go and recommend if you have a lead on your area just go and try it it's only like seven dollars I think it's like six ninety nine if not five ninety nine it's cheap I know that I was I was like yes give me that I'm only going Lido to get the lime to detergent it's kind of like an Aldi I haven't really explored out but I was only going I don't even think the first time I did that I was looking for the laundry detergent but all I know is the laundry detergent in Lido it will have your clothes so soft. But yeah. So we got the pumpkins out. We got the trash out. We still have our door open because I don't I can't tell if it still smells like onions in here or not. Um I have about an hour and, and fifteen minutes until I'm able to eat something. So we're just trying to keep our keep busy. So right now I'm packing clothes because we're leaving at six AM tomorrow morning. So I need to get this vlog edited and I'm probably going to be up editing this vlog because I want to go ahead and post this vlog tonight. Um, so yeah. Are we ever going to focus? My hair is finished. Y'all want to see it in the bathroom? Can y'all see it better in the bathroom? Oh look y'all so. I, know, I have not been wearing this hair down the middle, but it finally looks worth something down the middle. It did before I put the curly pieces in, but it finally looks worth something down the middle. But we're wearing it lived over to the wedding like this. Uh oh, thumbnail. <laughs> Fetch your ball thumbnail. <laughs> um, I don't even know what this vlog is even about. It's really it's about that bed in there. And the bed's not that bad, but I just, it was, that bed definitely had something there because it was something, something was going on around that bed that was attached. And that's why I don't like, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of purchasing, um, I'm not a big fan of purchasing used furniture. <sighs> Y'all have learned a lot about me in this vlog. Especially my, my godly woman side, my spiritual side, the side of discernment, the side that don't play around. Anybody who's anybody know I take everything seriously. Even though I joke a lot, but I also take a lot seriously. Because it's not just black and white. It's not, well, I guess it is black and white. It's this or that. It's good or evil. Come on. Stop playing around and stop trying to ignore what you already know. When you ignore what you already know, then you done chose a side. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I ain't, I gave y'all enough. I ain't the one con to condemn you though. And I ain't gonna be the one to convict you. That's only the Holy Spirit's doing. The Holy Spirit gonna convict you. Now, if you're convicted, you got to evaluate. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hungry and I only ate two crab cakes um, and thought that was going to suffice. The crab cakes was good though. I could, I should have got four instead of two. But it was $10 for two. 
I should have got four. Because they was good. But I don't understand why crab cakes... You know what? I hope that's made with real crab. Because I've seen how imitation crab was made. And I didn't like that. I don't eat imitation crab. But I just... My, I remember my dad used to... um feed that to us when we was younger. Sometimes we would eat imitation crab because, you know, we ain't have crab. You know, we didn't have the money to... I ain't gonna say, I don't know what my dad had when he was young because my parents, one thing they did not do was show us the struggle. Okay? One thing they didn't do was show us the struggle. Now, they may have showed us a little bit of dysfunction and a little bit of toxicity, but they did not show us a scrubber. We ate. We was eating. And sometimes it was imitation crab meat. And um, I remember my dad used to do it like it was regular crab because we grew up eating crab. So it was like some, I ain't gonna, we grew up eating crab in the south, like on my mama's side. But my daddy also ate crab legs often too. And so, but on them nights, you know when we not about to bust open crab legs because crab legs just wasn't that accessible back then especially in Fayetteville like there wasn't a lot of seafood places like there is now there's a lot of seafood places in Fayetteville for some reason now but anyways we used to bust up with some some imitation crab my daddy used to cook that and he used to put some butter and garlic in the middle of the table we'll eat it like crab it, it used to always taste different than crab but it was still good sometimes I get sick of it but then I made then I seen a video of how imitation crab meat was made and I was like what is this gonna be and when I seen the white and then I seen the red I said is this imitation crab say it ain't so because when they first started the process it looked like cement it is that <laughs> anyways let me stop being in a jokester I'm probably about to cut this avocado open because I gotta leave early in the morning and I'm just I'm just slowly gagging around to be honest. I just got finished with my hair. I got a little bit of stuff packed. Um, I'm going to put whatever I put in that dryer. I mean, whatever that comes out of that dryer is going to go right in the suitcase. Then we got to put a little bit of more necessities up in there. And I was going to try to edit this vlog, but y'all not going to get this vlog until probably next week. Sorry. And that way I'll have more footage. I have pre-footage to put out so we can just drop. I can give you like three vlogs back to back i'll try i'll try my hardest and that's the only reason why it's taking so long for the next vlog to come out is because of um the vlog the lord told me not to put out so y'all would have had that one by now and then i would have been putting this one out probably monday but i'll probably put this one out by sunday i'll bring my computer with me but it's gonna be a busy weekend i doubt i'll open that computer but i'm gonna bring with me just in case i have a little bit of time but to be honest thursday tomorrow probably not gonna have no time oh i'll have some time saturday possibly maybe not i don't know i'll be at my dad's house at that time so i'm probably gonna come back on sunday so i'm only gonna i'll be on the move i don't stay places long i'll be back here back to it back to the grind and then i'm about to start a second job so i'm gonna be working back to every day every every day working every single day um and i'll be working monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday all sundays it's what i gotta do it's what i gotta do i said i was grinding all year so next year i'm not partying but Next year, we still running. The grind is going to be a little bit different next year. It's going to be like... It's going to be like more work, less 9 to 5. You feel me? It's going to be like more creation, less 9 to 5. It's going to be like... <coughs> 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 Anyways, I'm gonna cut open this avocado. There's so much I gotta do. I hate, I do not like leaving my house a mess. Even though my house is not a mess, but I got like eight dishes in the sink right now. All from last night when I cooked. Anyways, let's go. 
Goodbye. Y'all back the same spot, Aina. Aina, Aina. Aina. That's what I was talking about. My camera's about to die, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And follow me on Instagram at just Rihanna because I don't post on my page right now, but I will be posting in the near future. And also, I post a lot on my story. So that's where you're going to get, like, the behind the scenes and who... I mean, y'all get that here on this channel, but it's just, like, when I'm not on here, y'all can go to my Instagram and I post a lot on my stories. So if you want to go to my story right now, you're probably not going to see what just happened on my story, but I'll make a behind the scenes um, little circle on my page. So that way y'all can go in there. But I do have stuff on there that y'all can go back and look at. But yeah, just go to my Instagram page at just Rihanna. My Instagram and my TikTok are both just Rihanna, but I have no content on both of them because I think I went to a, through a content block at one point and I'm trying to get out of it. In the name of Jesus, I have broken out of this content block in Jesus name, in Jesus name. I'm about to start posting content and structured content on all platforms. See ya in the next video. Happy Vlogtober. There I go. Scratching that nose again.